Step one, identify the thought groups. Remember what I was saying? Basically, four or five content words, normally you want to pause. That gives you really good pacing. In this case, we, it's very natural to pause after dependent clauses. And notice if I count here, one, two, three, four, there's only four stress words in this. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. So we can pause here. Now, transition words, it's very common to pause after those. In this case, we have communities, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, I want to put a pause here. However, that's eight. So we got to find another natural break here. So maybe here. We can pause right before that dependent clause. The, the bears will recognize humans as food. Hence one two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is pushing it. So that would be your first step is to identify the thought groups that you want to use here. And this last one we have, uh, hence making them more likely to attack humans in the future. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one's a little bit long. It's pretty natural for me. A lot of people learning English that might be too many words in there without a pause. You, maybe you could do this. That's basically your first step is to do this. Step two, blend words together within each thought group. Now this is kind of complicated. I'm trying to simplify this as much as I can. Now, I'm not going to say that every single word here is exactly blended. But it's common. Uh, sometimes the ending of one word, we kind of blend it to the beginning of the next word. So when I'm reading this first thought group here, I'm not saying when bears lose their fear of people. I read it more when bears lose their fear of people. So the, the general idea here is to try to blend together the words within a thought group. And remember, we never blend a word from one thought group or a sound from one thought group to a sound of another thought group. For example, people and they. These are separate thought groups. That's the next step is to do that. Step number three, use higher pitch at the end of every thought group except the last one in each sentence. So if you look at this, we can see we have one we have we have two sentences here, believe it or not. So at the end of each sentence, the tone needs to fall slightly, but here's a trick. At the end of each of these thought groups, the tone should go up slightly. It tells the audience you're not done with that idea. So let me read it. I'm going to read this without any change in my tone at all, and then I'm going to read it more with what I consider a more natural sounding tone, trying to incorporate this idea of putting higher pitch at the end of each thought group. Okay, here's the first one. When bears lose their fear of people, they become more likely to attack. Therefore, in communities where bears and humans live in close proximity to each other, and if people in those communities feed the bears, the bears will recognize humans as a food source, hence making them more likely to attack humans in the future. <clears throat> okay, in this case, I didn't really change my tone that much. Now this time, I want to read it more naturally by changing my tone a little bit more, uh, and I'm, I'm going to try to work on blending a little bit better with these thought groups. When bears lose their fear of people, they become more likely to attack. Therefore, in communities, where bears and humans live in close proximity to each other, and if the people in those communities feed the bears, 
the bears will recognize humans as a food source, hence making them more likely to attack humans in the future. So do you notice the difference there? In that the last time I read it, I was trying to put a slightly higher pitch at the end of each thought group. And once I got to the end of the sentence, my tone fell. Now, the exception is, of course, if you have a yes, no question. Yes, no questions need to end with a rising tone. But believe it or not, WH questions and all other kinds of sentences typically will have more of a falling tone at the end.